All right, so I usually don't start off my reviews this way, but there's really only one type of person that I recommend this e-bike for. And I'll cut it to you straight here, just real nice and easy at first, all right? Do you want a lightweight bike that's not super overpowered, but not underpowered either? Are you okay with not having a throttle? Then this bike might just be right for you. Keep on watching our honest review to find out more, and I'll show you the one type of person I think this city bike is absolutely best for. Keep on watching. Ugh. This Propella e-bike retails for about 1200 bucks. I've seen it on sale for as little as $9.99. And it's an incredible value of an e-bike. Once again, for the very right person. Are you okay without a throttle? Well, this e-bike might be for you. Do you want something that's super lightweight? Well, this bike also might be for you. Do you just want a road bike? Well, it also might be for you. Now here's the deal. We've tested out other lightweight e-bikes that are really close in overall weight to this e-bike. This e-bike weighs, I think, what, 33 pounds? I'll put the exact specs on here. But at $1,000, it is, you could buy three of these e-bikes for one of the Utopia carbon fiber e-bikes. And the weight difference is really not all that drastic. But if you want a lightweight e-bike that uh, just goes, then this e-bike might be just right for you. Now, I'm taking this this direction for a very purposeful reason. There's a large hill that's up here, and uh, frankly, I don't like to go on it when I'm not on my e-bike. You can see the hill up ahead as I make this turn here. It is not messing around, right? Well, guess what? You have a little e-bike like this, a little road bike that wants to go on trails. I hate going on the road, by the way. I don't know if I'm the only e-bike rider that does, but look at how easy this is. Change gears a little bit. I'm still in pedal assist level five, and I'm going 17 miles an hour up this hill without a care in the world. That's who this e-bike's for. If you want spend like a thousand bucks on a fun little e-bike that you don't want to take off-roading, you don't need to carry a bunch of cargo, and you like the road bike style, holy moly, you'd be hard pressed to find a better bike for you than this one. It has no rack, it has no light, does it? No light in front. And it's one of Propella's best selling models, and it's best selling for a reason, because it just goes, it's easy, and it's only $1,000. Have I mentioned that? That's crazy town. This bike will get you some looks. Now, excuse me here, I need to uh, take a sip of water. It does have those mechanical disc brakes, not the, uh, this is actually the battery right here, not water. I was gonna open it up and pretend like I was drinking it, but. I left the keys at home. Let me fix this camera real quick. We'll keep rolling. Uh, let me show you a couple things here before we get going. This bike will get you some really honest looks. I mean, look at these wheels. Aren't those beautiful? The blue accent on it is nice. It's a nice lightweight frame, but the trip computer is very simple. It's got your odometer, got your miles per hour, your pedal assist, your battery level, but it also has a clock. How come more e-bikes don't have clocks on them? Um, this is the pedal assist levels here, and that's really it. It's got a seven speed transmission, shifter right here, nice and simple, easy breezy. Let's go take us more for a spin and uh, say a little bit more about this bike. This uh, e-bike I believe does top out of pedal assist at about uh, 18 and a half miles an hour if I memory serves me correctly, which is frankly, a really good pace. Uh, I, I totally dig it. Now you can get a lot of different types of e-bikes in general. 
just straight up, right? And they all kind of have like their own stick here. This one has obviously got the blue colors. It's really pretty awesome looking e-bike, but the value is what I keep on going back to here. For about a thousand bucks, you can have a totally capable e-bike that doesn't have a transmission or doesn't have um doesn't have a shocks or anything like that, but it's a road bike. Road bikes are supposed to, whoa. I got going a little too fast there. And it's only 33 pounds. I mean, come on. How awesome is that? The pickup and go on this is actually a little bit more than what I would expect on a little guy like this. But once again, the bike only weighs 33 pounds. Bikes like the Rad Rover 6 weigh like 70, start off with. I mean, this is some fresh pavement here just for you, just for me. Show you how awesome this is. Let's, let me uh, take this off and show you a little more here. All right. Nothing better than some freshly paved roads here to show you just how smooth and slick the sea bike is, right? I mean, check out those beautiful wheels there and back. It's got the nice accent even on the chain. How cool is that? I mean, this e-bike is, woo, lightweight. And it really just goes on this nice smooth pavement. That's what it was designed for. Let's turn around here, boop, 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 boop. All right, now I'm going zero miles an hour here. Let's see how fast it gets up to top speed. Going three, four, five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and a half, right there. I mean, less than half a block reaches its top speed of about 18 and a half miles an hour using pedal assist. And once again, man, this is smooth pavement. It's just perfect for showing off the Z-Bike and how slick it is. If you are going on paved roads only, whew, Check out this bike, man, it is pretty legit. Do not, please do not buy this e-bike if you want one of a couple things. If you want a throttle, don't get this e-bike. If you want to haul something around, don't get this e-bike. If you want to go off-roading, don't get this e-bike. But if you are okay with an e-bike, that is a road style e-bike, you've got a limited budget, shoot, toss the Utopia smart bike. Holy moly, I will take this any day. Even if the smart bike lasts three times longer, I mean, you can still get three new ones. This is the fourth generation of this e-bike. So you know they're always improving it, right? That's pretty darn cool. Even the battery on this looks legit, looks unique. This is a pretty dang steep hill that I'm climbing here. Uh, I'm going 18 miles an hour and not even huffing and puffing. If you need to go on roads with some hills and need a little extra pedal assist, then check out this e-bike. If you need to go on something like trails or haul something, you know what, you can probably pass. Woo. But if you want to go up some hills, only go on roads, the seat bike might just be for you. If you're looking for a great, high quality e-bike that you're just going to take on the road, then check out the Propella S7. For about a thousand bucks, you can get a great road bike. As long as you aren't wanting to take this off-road, or carry a bunch of cargo, it is a lot of fun if you want a straight up road bike. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the section below. Make sure to give us that thumbs up and we hope to see you again real soon. People always get me funny looks in the neighborhood, they're like, what is this guy doing?